wanted to basically just film this video transitioning from 2020 to 2021 and basically just cleaning my home with you and putting all the Christmas decorations away and everything and getting ready for the new year. Obviously I do not look like this in the video. It's just me cleaning, it's just me with some like you know baggy top on and that but yeah I just really wanted to sit down and sort of welcome you into this video just so you weren't like just thrown in. This video will obviously be a voiceover just because it's so much easier when like filming and everything. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you find it relaxing and all of that good stuff. So grab your cups of tea or coffee, or biscuits, whatever you like to do when you relax. And yeah, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy. So of course our first chore was taking down the Christmas tree. As you can see, Craig was watching the football at the time and obviously I'm helping him take down all the decorations off of the tree and then he does the other bits like folds up the tree and puts it away and all that sort of jazz. This was actually so fun because obviously we always put the tree up together every single year but this was just nice to just take it all down and get ready for the new year ahead and yeah it was just a really nice like just a good feeling to be honest just to make everything clean again and tidy and not just have stuff everywhere. <laughs> And this is when my chores start. So I obviously always have the fun jobs to do. And I'm just grabbing the washing tabs out of the cupboard and also some fabric conditioner and just putting the first load of washing on. Obviously this is just literally like every woman's nightmare, isn't it? Just sorting out the washing. It's where I literally do the washing like every couple of days, but it's always one thing I like to start with because then that way the washing can just do its thing whilst I'm cleaning the rest of the house up. And of course, you can't start cleaning without having a candle lit. This is the Bath & Body Works Cinnamon Ginger Snap, and Craig actually got me this for Christmas. And although I'm putting down all the Christmas decorations, this actually just has a really nice gingerbread smell to it. It doesn't smell too Christmassy, it just smells like you've been baking. So as you can see, I'm just taking it down at the little decorations off the windowsill and putting those away. Then just putting away my little Santa and snowman. These literally come out every single Christmas. They are just so cute. And this year we just popped them by the lantern. They looked really nice when the lantern was all lit up at night. And then I'm just going to put away the Christmas cards. We always tend to keep our Christmas cards, especially obviously if they're from our loved ones. And you can just see Jay's here just chilling while I clean around her and pick up all the Christmas cards off the windowsill. And then just getting rid of my little silver tree as well, which is so cute. This was actually just from Home Bargains. And isn't it so sad when you have to put away your little Christmas candles? This was just my little white company winter candle with a little like decoration around it that came from a little ornament from the range, but I thought they went really well together. And here I'm just hoovering up around the table and around like where the Christmas tree was. Couldn't believe how much just like dust was around it. It was actually just disgusting. But it's just so nice to just have a good old deep clean every now and again. I normally tend to deep clean at least every, I'd say sometimes every week and then sometimes I do it every two weeks. But this was really well needed, especially after Christmas. For my skirting boards, I tend to just use anti-back wipes. With behind where the Christmas tree was, I also did just spray a little bit of this flash spray just to get rid of any like germs that might be lurking around the floor. 
but honestly cleaning your skirting boards is just I think one of the most disgusting jobs there's just so much dust and dirt that comes off them I then also am just cleaning my TV cabinet with an anti-back wipe as well I just find these work the best as you can see I just have to keep pushing Daisy away every now and again because obviously anti-back wipes are not good for dogs <laughs> I make sure to move any like frames or any of these like little candles that I have I just make sure to pick them up and just clean underneath them and also my Alexa I don't know about anyone else but I feel like the Alexa collects so much dust it just gets absolutely filthy so I feel like I'm forever cleaning it we've got one in our living room and one in our bedroom and they literally just collect dust like nothing else <laughs> and then just moving my table up a little bit back to where it's meant to be as you could tell with the christmas tree it was a little bit cramped with the table that was the only thing i think by this christmas we're gonna have a brand new table hopefully so that it will fit a little better in with the tree I'm then just taking all the things off of the table, ready to wipe it over with some of the Apple flash spray that I of course have on the floor. <laughs> I always just like to wipe that away with a bit of kitchen roll and then obviously just throw it in the bin. I then also just go over one last time with an anti-back wipe just to make sure everything has just come off the table. Then the table's all nice and clean, doesn't really take much to be honest. <laughs> I then put all my little decorations back on the table. So I always pop these mats from next on the table just so they're always like on there and ready for when we have our dinner. And then I pop on the little silver mirror tray. This is actually just from Tesco. I got it for my birthday, I think it was like last year. And then just this little glass vase, which is also from Tesco. I believe it was literally like two pound and then the pampas grass is actually just what my mum picked for me which was like last summer but yeah I just absolutely love it now what I'm doing is I'm just doing some flower arranging these are just some spray carnations I got in Tesco they were literally like one pound fifty and they are like my favorite flowers ever they just look so pretty on the windowsill I'm not the best obviously at flower arranging yeah I'm just sort of like winging it basically but it ends up looking fine in the end and yeah I just always love having fresh flowers in my home. Now we move on to my favourite job of all not <laughs> which is getting out a lint roller and just basically getting rid of any like hair or fluff on the footstool and also on the sofa so obviously because we have Daisy and Cavaliers do tend to shred a lot of hair. I do this like every few days to be honest with you or if I find that the sofa looks like it's got a bit of dog hair on I'll just get the lint roller out but these are just little mini lint rollers from b and I think they're like $1.99 for a pack of four so they're really handy and they don't take up too much space in the drawers as well. I then like to reorganize all the cushions, freshen them up a little bit and also then just like re-fold like my fro and just basically freshen it up a bit make it look nice and cozy again and welcoming because otherwise it just looks a bit of a mess doesn't it i also wanted to add as well the cream cushions are actually from H&M home and they are so so gorgeous i think they add so much character to the sofa then i'm just de-christmasing the i literally just made up my own word there the bathroom i'm getting rid of my little real christmas tree this is actually just from tesco we get these literally every year and they are so adorable i just popped one in the bathroom this year as i thought it just made the bathroom nice and christmassy but it wasn't like over the top and then the vase with the potpourri in is also from tesco as you can see i quite like tesco <laughs> and i'm just getting rid of that as well just then going in with that apple flash spray again honestly this smells incredible it's such a gorgeous scent and i'm just literally taking everything 
off of my little shelf above the toilet and sink and then I'm just taking everything off the sink as well just giving everything a real good spritz and just getting rid of any of those nasties that have been lurking around. I'm just wiping over everything with an elbow grease sponge these are literally the exact same as Minkies and so much cheaper. I find this works really well. I think they're literally like 99p in B&M. And as you can see, I'm just really working that flash spray in and just wiping everything down. As you would have seen, I spray some of the flash bathroom spray. This is actually the one that says on it that it kills coronavirus. So that is why I picked this up in B&M like a few weeks ago. I think it was like a pound but I spray that on everything as well after I've used the flash spray on it just to literally, you know, kill everything. <laughs> I just popped everything back on the sink, back on the shelf, and it looked so, so sparkling clean. As you can see, I'm then just popping all my little skincare products onto my little white tray. This tray is just from Primark. I got it literally like two years ago and it came in a set of two. So you can probably find something similar to be honest. Maybe on like H&M Home or something. Then I'm just cleaning the bath and like around the walls of the bath just to make sure there's like no lime scale or anything and just give it a nice freshen up and again I'm just using that elbow grease sponge and the flash spray and then I'm just popping my brand new black Dunelm bath tray on the bath this was only £10 and then I'm just popping my beautiful little candle, my little vase, my little succulent and my hand and body lotion and then just laying down my brand new bath mat which is from B&M and yeah that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I know this was a shorter clean with me but I just thought it was nice just to get into the new year with a cleaning video, just sort of freshen up everything, get rid of the Christmas decorations. Sorry this was a little bit late, we are getting closer to Feb now. But I actually did film this obviously ages ago. Really hope you have a lovely day and thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye!